What's up, everyone? Good morning. Happy Thursday. Let's show you where we are today. Today, we are back at the lake. Hempstead Lake State Park. Right here in uh, Rockwell Center slash West Hempstead. Look at that. Kevin Brady's on number one today. Number one today. We're over here on the beach along the coast. The sun is rising over here. Good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. Look at this. This is what you get to see when you get out of bed early and you ride at dawn. Hempstead, Texas. What's the chances? All right. Hope everyone's having a good week. We uh, had a fun day yesterday. Uh, a couple of us uh, realtors um, went over and visited. Uh, we got an invite from our friend Joe DeVito, who's a fellow realtor in the Malvern area and a fellow Malvern resident. And he rented a house out in Fire Island and invited us all to come out. So we said, why not? Let's take advantage of uh, a beautiful sunshine summer day. Summer's almost over, so let's uh, get the most out of it. Um, let's break the monotony a little bit and let's get out of our normal grind and let's go do something different. So uh, we got together with uh, my friend Patty Murphy, Leon Sanchez and his wife Dorothy. And we went over and met Joe DeVito and Willie. And they have a beautiful spot over there. We hung out at a beach. Uh, Willie whipped up some amazing food. And uh, Joe, some amazing drinks. And uh, we had a good time. And uh, it was nice to uh, just, you know, just break the norm a little bit and go uh, hang out with some like-minded people. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, what comes out of this message from yesterday is these are all people in my life, uh, fellow realtors um, that have been doing it long before I started. Uh, so Patty Murphy, back when I started flipping houses about 20 years ago, uh, I used to work with Patty, she was my realtor. She'd find me the house, I'd renovate it, and she'd sell it for me. And she really taught me a lot about real estate or about how the business works, um, how it uh, goes down, you know, what, what the process is, and um yeah really she's basically a mentor to me i've um, been doing it a long time she's really good at what she does um and also leon so when i first started and i first got my real estate license i had known leon uh from the neighborhood uh he had sold some of my flip houses um and uh we worked together through the years so when i got my license i went to work for leon and leon gave me my first shot as a realtor uh, also taught me a lot about the business. Uh, Leon also flips houses and builds houses and been doing it a long time. He was on a cover of Newsday, the local newspaper back in, uh, I think it was 87, something like that as a top realtor. Uh, he's been around a long time and uh, really good guy. And then Joe DeVito, who was also a realtor, um, he's been doing it a while. Um, <clears throat> he's done, also does a bunch of things, interior design, landscape design. Um, he's got a... Uh, decorating business uh he's opening up a kitchen business he uh definitely uh another hustler and what i've realized in the group is that um we all work the same we're all relationship people uh, i talk a lot about relationships and how important they are um, none of us have giant lead generators none of us are huge uh marketers as far as you know mailings or cold calling or all that other stuff that uh, a lot of people do we have relationships. We have people that know, love, and trust us. And uh, that's how we operate. That's how we operate. Uh, you know, we just talk about how, where our leads come from and, and you know, where our clients come from. And it's all referral based. It's all uh, just people we touch in our lives, people we talk to in our lives, people that, uh, again, know, love, and trust us and would like to work with us. And um, through that, I kind of came up with an idea of, uh, for all my fellow realtors out there and anyone in the world, uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Don't reinvent the wheel. Um, figure out what works. See who's doing good. And uh, follow what they do. Um, what I like to think of it as, though, is putting more air in the tire. Putting your own air in the tire. So if you got a wheel, right, a tire, and uh, it goes round and round, it gets you where you need to go, 
don't try and reinvent that. Add your own twist to it. Add your own spin to it. Uh, put your own air in the tire. Fill the tire up a little bit more and take it to the next level. Take what you've learned from the people you surround yourself with and build on that. Build on that. You know, I've taken what Patty's taught me. I've taken what <clears throat> Leon's taught me. I've taken what Joe's taught me. And I put it all together and made a salad, filled up the tire, mixed it all up. And, uh, you know, I built on that. And I think uh, I've inspired them in a lot of ways. Um, the older generation never uh, used social media. Uh, I think I brought social media to the forefront when uh, I started working with Leon. Um, basically up the uh, social media game for his company. And, and Patty's also upped it and Joe's big on social media. Um, just to just to spread our message and let people know who we are out in the world and uh, you know do good things so uh, so when you're out there uh, whether it be a realtor or whether it be whatever business or career you're in don't try and reinvent that wheel surround yourself with people that have done it before the people that are good at it and see what they do and take what a couple people do and mix it all together add your twist to it don't reinvent it just add your twist and you know be your own brand and build on that, build on that. I see so many people out there that, you know, come into the world, have no idea what they're doing, and they're like a bull in a china shop, and they're trying to reinvent the wheel and what they're doing isn't working. Uh, so why would you do that? Why would you do that? Take what's working and build off of that. Surround yourself with like-minded people and build off that. Um, you know, uh, you are who you surround yourself with. So if you surround yourself with success successful people, no matter what it is in your life, um, that's going to grow on you. That's going to grow on you. Um, you know, we had conversations about real estate yesterday of, uh, you know, what's working in the market, what's not working in the market. Um, we're all realtors that don't take no for an answer. Uh, we don't say can't. Uh, we just do. We get things done. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll never say no to a project. We'll never say no to a client. We'll uh, just make things happen. Um, we talk about, uh, we went to get on a ferry yesterday and we blasted out east I had to go out to Bayshore to get on the ferry to go over to Far Island, and line for parking was crazy. We thought we had enough time. We parked. We go running for the ferry. We get to the first ferry. We think that's the one. And like, oh no, that's not the ferry to go where you want to go. That's two parking lots over. So now we're running through the parking lot, get to the ferry, and we pull, walk up to the ferry just as the ferry's leaving. I'm like, all right, what are we gonna do now? The next ferry's in two hours. And I was like, there's no way we're waiting here in the parking lot for two hours. So like, all right, what's the next next thing we can do? All right, so we call the water taxi up. I'm like, whatever, you know, it's going to cost more, but we'll do that. Turns out water taxis are booked till four o'clock. We're like, all right, we ain't waiting for that. All right, what's the next option? Should we scour around? We're like, all right, there's another ferry leaving to another part of Far Island. Let's get over to Far Island and let's hang out there. You know, we'll figure out how to get from the one end of Far Island to the other end of Far Island. So uh, <clears throat> we get over there and we realize there's water taxis that run there every hour. So we get off the boat there. We run across the dock, we jump on and jump on a water taxi and shuttle over to uh, Fair Harbor where Joe's at. And, uh, you know, we all think the same. We all have the same ideas. Spring it to action. All right, so this didn't work out. All right, what's the next step? Okay, that didn't work. Okay, what's the next step? Spring it to action. And um, that's just something that uh, when like-minded people get together, uh, big things happen and um, we spring it to action. Uh, and we just get stuff done. No excuses. Um, just get stuff done. So, uh, all right, so that's the message for today. Uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Just uh, put your own air in the tire. Fill up that tire a little bit more. Let that wheel roll a little bit better for you. Uh, take what those before you and around you and are side you, beside you, have done in the past that's working and build off of that. Don't start from scratch. There's no reason to start from scratch. Um, and build the relationships. Build the relationships. Um, I talk so much about relationships in life. And it's not only about business. You know, it's just relationships make you feel good. When you got good people in your life that support you, that uh, love you, um, it makes life better, makes life easier. But um, it also, when you work with people and you let people know who you are and you're real and raw and vulnerable, um, you know, people lean on you and they trust you and, uh, and they love you and they want to work with you. And so, you know, there's a lot of people out there that sell real estate. There's people that work with me because they want to work with me. Uh, I want to work with them. Uh, we have a relationship and that's uh, important in life. It's important in life to, to stop and talk to people and learn what they're about and listen to what they need and, and help them. So, all right. So there's your message for Thursday. We're going to jump in prayers. 
Uh, the force of average got the crew today. We were flying solo. That's all right. I get to think a little bit in my head. All right, so let's give you something to look at where we jump into prayers. Absolutely beautiful here this morning. Hempstead Lake State Park. All right, in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right, all right. Dear God, wow, look at that hair. Dear God, uh, please look over everyone in our lives. Please help everyone make good choices, and make good decisions, and build relationships. Um, let's help us to uh, follow the lead of the friends around us, help us to surround ourselves with like-minded people uh, that are on the same journey, on the same mission, um, to excel in life and help others. Um, please help us to build confidence, help us not to uh, have limiting beliefs, help us to have uh, faith. Um, God gives us everything we need, so just have faith, have faith. So, uh, all right, everyone. Uh, go out and win your Thursday. Uh, weekend's coming, but we don't say, thank God it's Friday. We say, thank God it's every day, because every day we get up and we get to see this. Get out there. Forget your excuses. Make things happen. All right, everyone, God bless. Happy Thursday. And we will see you tomorrow morning. Come ride with me. 6 a.m. We leave corner of Scarcliff and Cornwell. And we do about 10 miles every day. Today is day 87 of 365. We're on a mission to run 365 days in a row. We're going to ride at dawn and give you guys a message every day. Hopefully I can help at least one of you every day make your life better. Everyone, God bless. See you soon. Have a great day.